these beam sensors can be connected to a wide range of voltage, AC or DC, polarity is really not important. You can connect two 9 volt batteries in series to create an easy 18 volt power source, or a cordless tool battery could work too. I use standard North American 120 volt power outlet. The relay switch has two positions, normally open and normally closed. I connect the white and black wires to the USB interface, and I do not use the gray wires. I recently found these AV adapters with screw terminals that work great with the X keys USB switch. Uh, the common 5 volt signal from the USB switch can trigger any channel, but it cannot be used to power the beam sensor. Programming the custom triggers is easy with the ControllerMate software. I use a simple one letter ID plus a carriage return to move the cursor to the next cell as fast as possible. I also added a one second dwell function to filter out multiple hits from the same sensor. The timestamp is still made on Google Sheets, but I have moved all of the other calculations offline. I'd like to figure out a way to script the timestamp in ControllerMate or OpenOffice directly. Any help would be greatly appreciated. I'm constantly refining my timing system, adding more sensors, and trying to increase the accuracy. Yeah, I'm still working on the final printout, but I've always wanted to do a real-time speedometer. So this timing system is really only good if you're racing by yourself um, against the clock. It can record lap times super accurately, but more than one person and you're going to run into a lot of problems. So I'd uh, suggest looking into like an RFID system, which is going to give you a little costly. And then also for the miles per hour, I think it's really only accurate in the straight sections. I have a lot of curves on my track and you never take the same you know, path twice, you're pretty much always guaranteed to go straight through the straight, straight sections and those distances don't seem to change as much as uh, a curve. And I'm also accelerating quickly and stopping quickly, so I think uh, I'm just going to have to scrap the speedometer for now and just focus on lap times. I might even take out a few sensors um, that are too close to each other. Yeah, I feel like sensors that are too close to each other also were causing problems. They need to be at least about a half second apart, depending on how quickly you're moving. That can be about 20 feet, or for me, it's about 20 feet. Seems to be a good distance for each sensor. Um, that's all. Oh yeah, and I was riding my all-wheel drive electric drift trike. Uh, got two 1,000 watt motors in the back and a 750 watt motor hub motor in the front. Right on. Thanks for watching.